This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you. And today we're taking a look at the Petrie RTA from DotMod, sent on over free for the purpose of this review by thecloudyvapor.com. This little bad boy has been out of stock for the longest time. He sent this to me months ago, and then I filmed the desk mode segments, and I was sitting down to do the FaceTime segment where I was gonna tell you all about the device. Looked up the device on his site, and I realized it's out of stock. I didn't wanna do the review without having a way for you guys to get it. He told me that they were like back ordered and he had no idea how soon he was gonna be able to get them in again. And no one had them. Like everywhere they were sold out. They were nowhere. Just last night he texts me and tells me that they're back in stock and I told him immediately, as soon as I saw that message, I ran back and said, I'll have the review out tomorrow. Because this is one of the best, one of the best, if not the best, RTA, standard RTA, not RDTA, Jenny style RD, RTA or whatever that I've probably ever used. The most flavorful vape that I've ever gotten out of an RTA. It's got really, really good airflow. It's got this very, very, very wide airflow control. It's about a millimeter thick but super wide. It's got this great knurling ring for the airflow system. It, it moves so, so easily. It's very easy to grip, it's very easy to turn, and wide open. It will surprise you, just in that how much air you can get out of what looks like a very, very narrow air intake. And then close it down about halfway and the flavor just goes through the roof. It's just an insane amount of flavor. And dense, thick clouds. The drip tip is incredibly comfortable. Acrylic drip tip. You can use your own drip tips. You can put it on top right over here, but you've got the O-rings exposed over there. I prefer not to use it that way personally. but I like the standard sort of drip tip that fits over the 510 connection with the outer O-rings there. It's a wonderful bell shape to the cap. That conical shape is just creating wonderful flavor. My mouth is watering right now. The sheening on the bell itself, just wow. It looks like the inside of a trumpet. It's just gorgeous. The top fill function, buttery smooth, just silky. Everything about it feels fantastic. Fill ports are not the biggest, but there's four of them. And it, they're kind of sunken down in there. I've never had an issue where filling this thing, I filled it too fast or too full and it's overflowing out the edge. The bottom is serialized with the Petri logo. It's got the version number, version 1.0. It's got the serial number, adjustable positive pin, the fit, the finish, everything on this is beautiful. It's everything that you expect from Dot Mod and more. The packaging is everything that you expect from Dot Mod and more. The packaging is just beautiful, elegant. On the back, you've got basically just a description of the device, white lettering on black background, designed in California. On the front, it says dot mod and that sort of filigree gold uh, leaf sort of thing going on. The sides, that gold leaf popping out over there. Magnetic closure over here. Open it up, open it up, and inside you've got this sort of mandala with dot mod written there. Everything is laid out beautifully for you. Your RTA sits right here with the serial number written there. I've got number 2,983. There's a little card with a website and everything. It's actually sitting underneath the felt, but the serial number is what shows through right underneath the tank. Beautiful attention to detail there. 
and you've got a spare tank with some extra o-rings you've got a spare drip tip topper you know the, the part that fits over the o-rings it's not different it's the exact same thing but it's just an extra one which is nice and you've got cork you know the cork bottle which is sort of classic dot mod it's you know you kind of expect to have that with dot mod with the dot mod logo on top of it i love that always have you get some extra screws you get an extra positive pin and you get the most beautiful the most beautiful pre-made set of coils that i've ever seen first thing i did after i unboxed it and i built it and i tried it out is i messaged brett and i asked him if he knew if anyone special had made these coils did m turk make them did own boy oc make them did justin jones make them who who made them and he didn't know and it, for, you know, for all i know it was someone over at dot mod that made them but they're these they were these beautiful triple core fuse clapton coils i want to say they they are uh 28 it could be 30 uh 28 or 30 uh triple core and i want to say it was like 50 gauge clapton over this it wasn't even 40 gauge it was had to be like 44 or 48 or maybe even 50 i don't know but they were just perfectly made gorgeous gorgeous clapton coils and seating them into this deck this deck this deck is awesome yeah guys i'm sorry it's one of those gush kind of reviews but this device is so wonderful and i i've been really excited to tell you guys about it for the longest time so this deck is just beautifully machined beautifully designed with the perfect perfect airflow and wicking system it's a postless deck and a lot of times i find with postless decks is the screws believe it or not are not always oriented in the most optimal way and this one is this one is oriented with the screws so that they're going to squeeze the leads in the right way so they're not going to spin the leads or crunch the leads or bend them in a way that just wouldn't be conducive to heating the coil properly it has a solid connection with these grub screws that anchor the leads perfectly in there and when the leads are anchored in there properly the coil is going to straddle the airflow which is built in to the negative half of that postless deck and not only that the way that the wicking is designed these sort of wicking sort of chambers in the sides is they're roomy they're really roomy this thing can handle a heck of a lot of wick which is great there's some really big wicking ports into the bell that's made to accommodate the wick so you can basically just pack the sides of this deck and you can just put as much wick as you want in there because the wicking holes on the top cap on the bell are just perfect.
did I mention that everything is gold plated? Everything is gold plated except for the screws of course. This tank is bling the funk out man. And it's tiny. It's tiny but it's got such a great flavor because of it. It's a 22 millimeter diameter device that just sits perfectly on everything. I personally I mean, it's gold plated and it's beautiful. So I like to rock this on something like my Axis, but it actually, I love rocking it on my K-Box too, believe it or not. I love rocking this thing on the K-Box. Don't ask me why. I just think that gold on red just looks so cool for some reason. I love it on the K-Box. Basically the Axis of the K-Box are pretty much all I ever put this thing on. I've used it time and time again, and I keep going back to it. I've taken out the coils. I've reused those coils so many times. I've taken out the wick, I've burned off the excess juice, and I've reused those coils over and over again. The coils that came with this thing are just phenomenal. But truth be told, it's not what I have in here right now. I actually gave this over to the Waffles not too long ago because she was having a really, really hard time with coils just being bad, and coils going bad on her and some of her uh, sub tanks. So I, I built this for her and I gave it over to her and it's ohms out at 0.35 ohms. And I've got a basic wire build in here. That's all I have in here. It's, I think it's a 26 gauge or 28 gauge. No, it's 26 gauge because I don't like doing 28 gauge. I don't like it, it's too flimsy. 26 gauge is about as high as I will go doing just basic wire builds. But it's gotta be something like 10 wraps each or something like that. I mean, I built it pretty pretty hefty because she likes a low lower wattage vape and even that I mean I vape this at about 70 at 0.35 ohms. Waffles has actually never used it. I think it's just her being stubborn about wanting to stick with sub ohm tanks and I'm kind of glad secretly because I don't really want to give this up. It was kind of painful building it for her, giving it to her, and then watching her not use it for like three weeks. She didn't even put juice in the tank. It was like you don't know what you're missing. It's her loss, man. Her loss. Whatever. If you handed this to me and told me those coils were still in here, I'd probably believe you at first vape. I'd probably believe you because even with a basic wire build, this thing vapes phenomenally well. Even with a basic wire build. It is one of the most flavorful vapes I've ever had, ever. It's one of the best if not the best RTA that I've ever used. Mm. Gotta say guys, just a wonderful RTA. If you're in the market for a new RTA, a standard sort of RTA, and something that's very, very flavorful, that can handle pretty much any build, any build, um, yes. $70 over at thecloudyvapor.com and I gotta tell you, my honest opinion, I think it's worth every penny. Every penny. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.